<laughs> yeah, watch yourself. All right, we got to get ready. Go ahead and clock in. The country ain't going to get no better. Ain't going to get no better. We ready? All right. We here. I'm thinking I'm going to get a healing glove. This is an attempt to collect a debt. Whatever you hypocrite, false pretend, backbite, mumbling, and grumbling against will be used in the collection of a debt. These messages are always being recorded for quality assurance to make sure no side deals get cut with nobody, but everybody got to come in, Brother Red. Straight, narrow path. All right, at the seventh chapter of the book of Matthew, Yahoo, we try to move quick. I got work to do when I get out of here. Every day when I get out of here, from now on, I got work to do. Y'all got it? Amen. If you don't have nothing going on, don't hold me up to try to make something. Amen. I mean, ain't got nothing. I just want to, you just want to shut up right now. I got work to do. Every time I get out, I got work to do. Y'all know that? Y'all don't realize it's a lot of work. A lot of work. They don't have no idea, do they? Y'all just think it's all just coming here and I just look pretty. That's all I think I do, just lay around and look pretty all the time. Get out, Andre. Allie Lee. I ain't never. How old are you, Nigel? 14. You don't know. Get out. Who else? Sister Janet. Oh, you were laughing at Nigel. Okay. All right. Get out twice, Nigel. You made her look. So, Tep, what you doing? Explain the day why you finna get put out now. Why you ain't do nothing? Did she have a look like she ain't did nothing? No. That look, look like she did something. She got caught. All right. Who else? Chris, get out. What you do? You know what you did? He said, that cat foot? Yeah, that cat foot. Don't worry about it. All right. Um, Matthew Yahoo chapter 7, verse 13. Listen. Enter ye in at the straight gate. Enter ye in at the straight gate. What do we talk about the straight gate? Restrict it. Restrict it. That's something all of us need to consider. It's restricted. Enter ye in at the straight gate for... Wide is the gate. And what else, son? Broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. And many there be. Which go in thereat. But straight. Is the gate. Narrow. Is the way. That leadeth. Unto life. And few that be. That find it. That's to everybody in the way of y'all synagogue. That's to everybody watching in. Of the Yahudin, Yashra all. The inhabitants of our brothers and sisters in Jerusalem. And every Gentile that's out there is to you. This buzz for you tonight. You hear me? You hadn't drunk any beer, you're drinking it tonight. This buzz for you. That's important for you guys to know. You will not be getting in. You need to know that. You've been told. Now what you got to do is you got to sit down there. You got to make an assessment to see what you need to do to try to change it. At the point of where you guys are at, just being under predominantly the majority, you over probably 98% of you, you ain't getting in. Simply because he just told you the requirements. It's straight and few that be, that few that be to even find it. Let alone you talking about getting there. Here I am, I'm looking at, I want to try to get the Shamaim. He said, first of all, you ain't even going to be able to find it. That's important for us. Y'all got me? We got to set back now. We got to start to reassess how we have been doing things. Y'all hear me? Where have our priorities been? Because we started to move into the language, because we started looking at other things now, we're trying to put together, trying to accomplish, a lot of us have become laxed. Lax to the point of we think there's no more requirements of us when it comes down to other obligations and duties, according to the word. But let's just be practical. For 98% of you, and that's probably a small number, are not going to make it in. You want the truth or you want a lie? Just not going to make it in. Because now you got to go back and we got to look at what he told us. We're not even, let's not even talk about it. Well, let's talk about getting in. Getting in, inheriting, going into the place where he is, where he dwells, where he rules, which he's going to bring and set here. But before he can even bring it and set it here, he has to do something. Who knows what it is? Burn it up. Purify. The word is purify. You're exactly right. Because he couldn't possibly see bringing where he dwells, where he habitates at. You hear me? Where he cohabitates with his host, with people that keep a required language, with people that keep laws and statutes and commandments. Y'all hear me? People that constantly give him homage. Y'all hear me? From sun up and they would say sun down, which the sun don't go down constantly. Yet he has people that have come him that have fixated themselves on going to a place that hadn't yet sat down and looked. Have you obeyed? 
So let's not even now, let's move away from trying to get down. First of all, you need to try to even find the way. That's a problem. You can't get there without the way. Y'all got me? So some things have happened. We saw this before in the book of Barashit. Barashit chapter 11 at verse 1. I just don't want to lie to y'all. You know why. Some of them look crazy. They know why they ain't getting in. That's just being honest. We can't let this stuff come along and help and hinder us and, 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 and begin to turn us away from the most important thing of why we always here. That's to make sure we make it in. Right. Y'all know good and well y'all have gotten yourself too late. Y'all have too much stuff going on. Y'all got too many things hold you back, too many things you're not going to do, too many things to just keep you restricted. And that's dangerous. At the 11th chapter of the book of Barashit, 11 and 1. Listen. And the whole Aritz was of one language. The whole Aritz was of one language. And of one speech. And one speech. And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. Mm -hmm. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick, and burn them throughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. Yes. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto Shamaim. Yeah. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole Aritz. And Allahim came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. Yes. And Allahim said, Behold, the people is one. The people are one. What happened, son? And they have all one language. Yes. And this they begin to do, and now nothing will be restrained from them yes. which they have imagined to do. Yes. Go to, let us come down, and there confound their language. What happened, son? That they may not understand one another's speech. Yes. So Allahim scattered scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the Aritz. Back me up. What he wanted to know now, he said, let, let us go down. What did he want to do again when he went down? I'm confused. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language. Yeah. That they may not understand one another's speech. Yes. So Allahim scattered them abroad from yes. thence upon the face of all the Aritz. Mm-hmm. And they left off to build the city. You hear what happened? Couldn't understand one another. Now we're sitting with the same situation now. I'm talking, I'm telling you guys something, you don't understand it. You know that? You're being told something, something's been required of you, and you guys hadn't done it. It's because the speech has been scattered. Let's see the eighth chapter of the book of um, Yaukanan. Yaukanan. Chapter 8, give me about verse 30, 39. Matter of fact, make it um, 8 and 30 first. Listen. As he spake these words, many believed on him. Then said Yahusha to those Yahudim which believed on him. If you what, son? Continue in my word. Then. Are ye my disciples indeed? Tell them what you're going to do. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth. Shall make you free. So ask yourself why you're still bound. You're saying you believe, but then look at your behavior. How many of y'all here don't believe? Then I should see a difference. It's easy. How many of you don't believe? Then why is it not a difference? Y'all let too many things hamper and hold you back based upon y'all mortal feelings. You got to put all that aside. We start talking, the book told us, therefore, seeing we so compassed about us, so great a cloud of witness. People watch us all over the world. Let us, what we supposed to do? Every and. People say, well, if it ain't sin, can I keep it? Is it a weight? Does it hold you back? Do it put you in reservation? Do it constantly put you in doubt? Does it put you near or being in violation? Lay it aside. Don't make sense. Now, if you're going to run a race, if you look at running, you say, look at the people out there. They ain't hardly got no clothes. They look like I'm running a race. Everything's a factor. What I wear. Yeah, everything's a factor when you're a racer, when you're a runner. I remember one time Zach was, um, he used to come, he was big on running. You see him pop out five steps. <coughs> it may look fast, but you don't remember he didn't go but five steps. But how I knew he wasn't no runner, I picked him right off. He wore some shoes called, they had a V on them. I said, what's the name of them shoes? He just stared at them. They were his shoes. He stared on them for a minute. He was just looking. He said, victory. I said, look like a check mark to me. So he went and researched them. They said victory. That's the name of victory. And the reason it was victory because 
they finally got somebody to buy them. <laughs> Ain't that right? For the person that bought them, it was Vic Tum. Y'all got me? But there were things he had, and I told him, I said, I'll be honest with you. I don't know a lot, but I don't mean I don't know everything. Anybody know it? I know a lot about a lot of stuff people just don't know. You listen, I know some stuff. I said, you know, I wouldn't wear them. I said, especially running. I said, because you got to start looking at when you're running, you know what I'm saying? Shoes, it's a, it's a reason why you wear shoes and why. I see you with white people. A lot of shoes, niggas go buy Nike to run. White people ain't buying no Nike to run in. Niggas styling. They're going to go get some Sacconi. They're going to go get some Ace. And they ain't going to get just no, they ain't going to get the one on the self off. They're going to be 129, 150. They're going to be okay. They look at, I'm a runner. Everything they're looking at, I'm going distant. All that's going to be factored in. You might look at me and wonder why they do stuff, because they're factoring things in. I'm looking at longevity. I ain't looking for one race. Most of the time when blacks or other people do things, they don't consider the whole matter. You know, just like people that are play sport, you know that. Somebody's going to be looking for longevity. They're going to be training off season. Somebody temporary, somebody just there for a check for the moment, they're going to start getting ready to the season come on. Isn't that right? They're not looking for longevity. And in saying that, you start looking at just back to what I was saying about him. He took them shoes off one day, he kept running. I told him not to. Both his toenails just popped off. I was like, what do you expect? You got on some shoes named victims. But you know, he felt like he said, if you're a runner, you can run anything. I said, that's not true. A runner ain't going to do it. That's the same thing you got to look at. People might say, why? Just like a boss. A boss ain't going to be out in no street just doing it. They're going to look at something trained. What I do is skill to it. I can't just be doing no in and everything. Everybody got a real skill or something, they ain't just going to be doing it out here in the street. Isn't that right? A lot of them ain't going to fool around with it. They're going to look and say, it's a profession for me. I got rules. I got things how I set myself up to realize I'm not trying to do anything that's going to hamper him to what I'm trying to complete. Well, that's the same thing you, gotta, you all got to look at when you look at the plan of salvation. There's a lot of other opportunity things that's going to come up. The opportunities are not all good opportunities, but bad as well. But you got to look at you trying to compete. And you try to complete. Y'all got me? And you can't do that when you get yourself hindered up with so many other things. And see, this is things that show y'all guys what's going to be your downfall to y'all being saved. But God, let me tell you something. I've been burnt, beat, lied to, cheated in him. None of these people here can't say I treat them no different. Because you know how to look at it. I can't make it in. That's the only thing. I'm, if I'm going to let that be the greater thing in my life. Man, I got it. My heart got to be right. Y'all hear me? And that's, that's how important it's got to be for y'all. But what will happen, things will come and you will be tested to see just exactly where you at. Y'all got to always remember something. People ain't required to do nothing, ain't going to be saved. If you, if you have said in your mind you're not going to be saved, you're going to play around, you're going to mess around, then I can't expect a whole lot from you as far as you doing, with, you doing things to not um, overburden me or trouble me or cause problems with me. Whatever you do going to be expected. I'm expecting to do that. Because his first, mind saying, his first mind said it not to be saved. Y'all got me? But that don't change my obligation. That don't change how I have to work and what I got to do. And when I allow that to become the greater end of my struggle with me and you, that's going to be a problem already. And the problem ain't going to be you. The problem going to be me. Because I'm still required. I got to do what I've been told to do. Let me show y'all something. Jump over, son, at the book of Yaukanon. Yaukanon chapter 22. Wonderful. Wonderful Husha. Your Ukanah in chapter 22. Jump down and give me about verse um, 27. Last chapter is 21. 21? Well, yeah, we'll give me the 21 then. Somebody don't tore it out. Y'all know it's stuff that were added and taken out the book. We'll talk about that later, about the 22nd. Just deal with this one right now. Okay. 21 and 28. Listen. Last verse is 25. See, I'm telling you, they took stuff out. Oh. Do this. But you know what? Devil in hell ain't going to stop us at night. You just going up and get verse 24. What's the last verse again? 25. Amen. Just to show him we better than him, get 22. Amen. Listen. Yahushua said unto him, if I will, that he tarry till I the come. Bag me up to verse 20. Listen. Then cuff, turning about. Bag me up, son. Give me 18. We got to move again. Come on. Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Truly, truly, I say unto you. When thou was young. What happened, son? Thou girdest thyself. Thou girdest thyself. And walkest whither thou wouldest. And when you, were, when you had the ability, when you were younger, he said you could put your own clothes on. You could go where you want to go. What happened, son? But when thou shalt be old. See this? But when time change and you lose the ability, you lose the fact, the function. Ain't that right? The function of how to be able to do this. What's going to happen, son? Thou shalt stretch forth thy hand. You're going to try to reach forth your hand. And another shall gird thee. Somebody else got to put your shirt or your jacket on. Huh? Somebody else got to feed you. He said, you're going to reach forth your hand. You ain't got the ability to do it anymore. 
What happened, son? What was he doing? And carry thee, whether thou wouldest not. And you want to go somewhere, somebody else got to pick you up and take you. You used to get up and say, I'm going to go to the refrigerator. I'm probably going to go to the store. I'm probably People say they got to drive. I'm going to run to the store. Because you know you got the ability, you'll say that even though you're going to drive, I'm going to run to the store. But now you can't say that. You had to get somebody to take you or somebody had to go for you. Things have changed. What was he doing, son? This fake he, signifying by what death he should glorify Allahim. What was he doing again now? Signifying what, son? What death he should glorify Allahim. What was he signifying again? By what death he, he should sh glorify Allahim. Talk to me, son. And when he had spoken this. What happened? He said unto him, Yeah. Follow me. What happened, son? Then Cuff, turning about, see the disciple whom Yahushua loved, loved what happened? following. What which, did, and what happened? Which also leaned on his breast at supper. Yes. And said, Yahushua, which is he that betrayeth thee? And what happened, son? Cuff, seeing him, said to Yahushua. What did he say to him? Allahim, and what shall this man do? Yahushua said unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. Now, you see what happened? Once he started to tell him what he was going to have to go through, what was going to happen to him, the first thing he wanted to know, what was going to happen to him? What about this fellow? First thing people start getting themselves concerned about is what other people, what's going to happen to other people. Like he told, if I will that they tear until I come, what is that to do with you? You just follow me. That's right. What happened, son? Then with this saying abroad, among the brethren. What did he say? That that disciple should not die. Did he say your ukana should not die? But you know what happened? When you get yourself so uh, enlarged or so uh, compressed the word about other people and what's going on to other people, you tend to hear what you want to hear. That's what a lot of y'all do when y'all hear the word. Because you know how I know that happened? When you don't activate what you know. It's some of you guys in here, I don't expect a whole lot out of it. It's bad to say that. Some things I say, mm, I don't expect, I expect it from you. It's others, I require more out of you. I just require more out of you. That's just being honest. It's something I do, I require more out of you. I feel like you heard more, you know more, you got more on the line, you got more to consider. So I love for you to do more. And to whom much is given? Much is required. Y'all got me? When y'all let little things come in and hinder y'all and stop y'all, y'all look at, y'all getting away from the work. That gets y'all from the work. The work is critical for us. Y'all hear me? People do stuff for me, and I don't like it. I don't feel good, but I look at, at the end of the day, I got to look at what I got to do if I'm going to make it in. Y'all hear me? I got to look at, I already know what I'm doing. I can't have, well, well, what's going on with Leon? Or when Leon? <laughs> can't worry about that. If he will, he tear it he come. He said, it ain't got nothing to do with you. You just follow me. That's right. Y'all got me? Yeah. And sometimes we can kind of disconnect ourselves from things, but everything you can't disconnect yourself from. Isn't that right? You got to disconnect yourself from the love of the world. When it comes down to people and how we function and functionality with one another, we got to be real careful about things like that. Y'all hear me? Yeah. I just can't forgive a person. I got to forgive them and love them. That's right. When you love people, you got to love them right, too. That's right. They say, I just got to love you from afar. We got a lot of sin we don't brought from the street. We don't brought it to the body. Yeah. Can't work like that. Right. Amen. Man, some stuff in your body gets you sick, and it might take the harder part of a disease you got, but you ain't going to hate it. Ain't that right? You're going to love and you're going to nourish it because you're going to say it's a part of the body. Yeah. That's the same mindset we got to have when it comes down to one another. Right. Y'all hear me? There's a lot of things we operate and we do. We don't got a lot of street behaviors and you yeah. don't realize a lot of times some of the stuff we do, that's what we do in the street. Yeah. I'm being honest, it's street. You can't carry a street, not in his kingdom. Y'all hear me? That's why I told you you got to be born again. Y'all, We got to learn how the body actually function. Y'all got me? He referred to the body again simply because we're talking about organisms. We look at how the body works. I mean, it'll do what it had to do if there's a if it's a part that comes out of the body. It's only gonna be because that's the last result. If it can't be fixed, can't be healed, then we're gonna take it out. Isn't that right? That's just science, that's medicine. We can learn from science and medicine. Simply because it's not operating anymore. And to be there, it can be a wind up being a hindrance to the whole body or even could cause a demise or death. Y'all got me? So sometimes it had to be removed. The same thing he told them when it came down to the eye or to the or to the arm, or to the leg. He said, if it's going to cause and hinder you from getting into the kingdom, he said, better to take it off. It's better to enter into life. Isn't that right? Because the only way we're going to amputate or take away is simply because we're trying to take on life. We're trying to keep a state of being. So what the body learns to do when we get rid of it, the other leg is going to say, I just got to pick it up. This leg, you ain't going to never hear that leg like they said, kick up. They're going to look at, that's what I got to do. 
I've been used to the other leg. It'd been better if I had the other leg, what could have happened. But what I got to deal with now, I don't have it. I just got to learn how to take a little more weight on. Summick. Isn't that right? The summick, which is what? To lean. The summick. That's one of y'all all of best. Isn't that right? You're going to learn to lean. Steadfast. Isn't that right? Stay. That's what he told the. Um, that's what he told the apostles in the twenty fourth chapter of the book of Ariel. He told them that, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem, which he would have told them Summick. Ain't that right? Summick. That's right. See, this is what we're trying to look at. When we got it together and we're all communicating, saying the same thing, that's when you got unity. That's the same way we look at dealing with this society. We want to try to make a change. The reason why we hadn't actually got a real change because we hadn't actually had anybody set us down and become one people and get one agenda. See, you got so many people. Got, we got people got an agenda now for the Oscar. Somebody else got one about the Super Bowl. You got too many, got too many frivolous agendas when you got real issues on it. We're talking about life. We're talking about being established and recognized. That should be the first thing. It's just like he told, if you see first the kingdom of Allahim, all oh, this will be added. And the That's problem right. comes with a lot of things that we start to desire and want. The truth be told, are we truly seeking that first? Yeah. The truth be told, we're trying to seek it alone. Yeah. So when you're going out to salvation, that's got to be first primary. Y'all got me? And everybody don't do well when you got a whole lot of other ways. Y'all hear me? A lot of other obligations, it don't work for everybody. Someone say, Pitch, you always going to be like you. You don't want to be like me. You don't want to be, because you don't want to know what all I have to do. It's a lot. And I had to cram stuff quick and I got to make stuff happen. And I got to be, I got to be moving. Cause stuff will happen and it'll go and it don't, it'll hit me and I, uh, I got to move quick and I got to move stuff. They'll tell you, I move quick. I move so fast sometimes. It'll be boo boo. They say, you already, that's just how quick I be moving. Stuff sits. I say, I just got to get things moving. I just got to get things going to do it. But I pay for it. Y'all got me. But that's how I learn how to function. Then I still get up and do my job regardless. You got to learn what you can do and how you can operate in your capacity and still stay saved. Y'all hear me? Or stay on the pathway of being saved. Mm -hmm. Y'all got me? If the agenda is getting to the Shamaims, when he'll step well the Shamaim where he's sick, well, let's just say get into his kingdom because we, rec we do recognize he's going to establish his kingdom here on the Aris. Y'all got me? If that's your design, then you got to first find a way. Y'all got me? And the reason you hadn't found it because you got so many other things going on that you're trying to operate that it's actually hindering the path. Some of y'all can't stay consistent long enough. Back to the summit. Step fast. Um, Shaul told her, find it, my brother. <clears throat> Be steadfast, unmovable, always, always becoming more abundant in the works of, of, of Yahuwah. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in Yahuwah. So a lot of times y'all feel like your labor in vain. Y'all are work and you need something quick to make you feel like it's not in vain. You got to know yourself what you're working, what you're striving for. I hadn't stopped. Y'all didn't think the way it done seemed gloomy to me before? It hadn't seemed dim? Man, it took years before I started eating from this place in front of work. I put seeds out and I sold them. I had to wait. People say, it'll come in time. I, I, I'm a person. I need stuff. I need to see it now. When I plant, I need to see that thing popping out of the ground now. That's the type of person I was. He made me learn. Hey, you got to get some patience. The book say you have need of patience after that. Yeah. After that. Yeah. Some of y'all put the seed, pick it up, suck, lick it, put it in. You got to die. You can't even plant a wet seed. Amazing. You got to take a seed. It's got to be dry. It's got to die. Put it in the ground. Then well, guess what you got to do? You got to water it. So you got to be all of him to even understand or be minded of him. To even understand. Only man can take it. You can't plant a wet seed. It got to be dry. When you put it in the ground, he said, no, go water it. Huh? Now it can grow. Same thing with us. A lot of y'all want the spirit, but you hadn't even died. You hadn't even dried out from the stuff you've been doing. You still got luck on your breath. Mm. Some of y'all still got cigarette smoke coming off you. Mm. You still got reefer burns on your hand. I can't water you yet. Because right. everybody moves so fast to try to get somewhere, and you don't even realize what it takes to even get there. As soon as something don't go your way, you lose it. You change up. You don't stay consistent. You start to doubt. You disbelieve. You got to have need of, you got to have patience for You got to have consistency. That's how it pay off. A lot of times people quit to mimic champions or great people. They don't look at what these people go through to get there. They have to deny a lot of stuff. He told them, if any man going to come at him, you got to deny yourself. That's just the way I am. And get what he said. That's just how I am too. I ain't going to give you what I got. Mm -hmm. 
Because the way you are and the way I am, we ain't going to make it. I have people that say, you know, I tell them, I said, we ain't going to make it. Because I had to sit down, I got to do the math. And I, unlike what my son say, Christians, they suck at math. I said, well, let's look at how I operate, how I do things, how you do things. And this ain't going to work. Come on, it can't, it's not going to work. It just don't add up. Now you got to start looking at who you're trying to get with and what you're trying to obtain and look at how you are and look at what it takes to get you back to where you've been. Y'all let too many other things move you. At some point, you got to break the yoke. And he told you it's the anointing. When y'all hear the word, that's your opportunity to break away from the way you've been and transform or transfigure into the people he's trying to command you to be. Y'all got me? Now we got to use the Zen. Got to cut. Cut. He's exactly right. Not only that, we got a sort. S-O-R-T, sort. What are we sorting? The different kinds. So now we got to sit down. We got to look at Even the book tell you there are different, there are diversity of gifts. Ain't that right? Not only that, it's different spirit. Why he told you, beloved, believe not every? Because every, it's more than one. There's more than one. You got to even search spirits that you might have. Those spirits that we call and people try to put are behaviors. You have a soul on the inside. They're the spirit of life, the Ruach, which came and gave life to that soul. Now you start looking at you have different functioning of that soul, different behaviors that come about or that might manifest due to other actions. Y'all hear me? Or your likes or dislikes. You always got to make sure they stay in the parameter of the word. I can't let no spirit or behavior come from me that he say that go contrary to what he commanded. Thank you, Brother Craig. I ain't getting one of them. That's right. One, two, three. They start looking at it. Let me tell you something. It's easy to give up, quit, and do what other people are doing. Man, that ain't hard. Sure. Hey, I, got, I got the ability to walk. This is the thing. I got the ability to walk. Like some of y'all, you ain't going to do it because you ain't got it. Nobody don't want you. That's not my testimony why I ain't doing it. That's like just somebody sit up in jail, locked up, got twins. I don't want no stinking hoes out there. <laughs> Saying that because you locked up. Got 20 years. You got 19 more years and 11 months. In 29 days to scream that story. But once you're out, once you're out, can you still keep that same behavior? Man, ain't smoking no weed. Man, I'm in here, man. I'm through with that junk and that alcohol. Where you at, though? Is it because of where you at or that's your real belief? Is that your real company? Is that your real desire? A lot of people desire just based on where they at. Some of y'all only ain't had a fair because nobody don't want you. Mm. All right. Mm. Some of y'all ain't drinking because you ain't got the money. Mm. So being honest, I, I, I thank the most high that I'm standing, not certainly not because of myself, but that's my heart's desire. You hear me? I want to be saved. I want to be right when the man come in here. So I had to keep myself in a certain position or regardless how Tony Smith feel, I got to make sure I'm operating. If I find out I'm not, you got to have the mindset that you're willing to turn around and you're willing to try to make the correction. That's why a lot of people, a lot of people crack with corrections. Too many change. I can't, huh, it's all too much. I understand. Because the dang way you're trying to be, you ain't going to make it. Just being honest. Only thing y'all need to know yourself to is sin. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. See, what is this amazing? What we what we want from Allahim, what we desire from him, and what we look for him to do for us, we don't do for others. That's our downfall. At the yeah. book of Matthew Yahoo. Matthew Yahoo chapter 18. Y'all all right tonight? Hey, you man. I can help y'all out, y'all believe it. So 98% of mine have already heard. Now, whatever you done took on yourself to say, he playing, I'm not lying. If I tell you the truth, if I was you, I'd get right. I you, I'd get right. The one thing you got to look at, I want to let it sit back and keep me from doing what I need to do, though. So once I know I did it, I got a test that gave me, and they said critical to my graduation or my future or my financing. They said you failed it, but the answer is you need to get the answer. You need to get it right. I'm saying, well, they just sound flunted. That's it. I can't get it. That's not what he told me. So I already know where I messed up at. Let me go back and correct it. And everybody right, tell me I need to get the answer. What, so what you saying? Did I flunk it? Yeah, don't worry about it, dummy. Some stuff you got to listen. Y'all hear me? Y'all got to look at when he spoke these things in the parable. Like he said, I'll speak it as long as you're able to hear it. 
What you willing to do? This is the 18th chapter of the book of Matthew. Yahoo. Give me verse um, 13. Let me say that what I want. 18, 13. Listen. And if so be that he find it, verily I say unto you, he rejoiceth mm -hmm. more of that sheep than of the ninety and nine which went not astray. Come on, son. Even so, it is not the will of your father, which is in Shamaim, that one of these little ones should perish. Y'all hear that? That's not his will. Not that one of these should perish. But what happened with that? Moreover. You know what happened with the average of all? We hear that? Christian, man, Christian mentality. That's why the Hebrews are like go out and commit sin the way they do. Because they say, the book of teaching, he's not, he not winning in us should perish. He's not. But you're going to take on your own will. So you know what he did leave? He left your will. Ain't that right? He left you a choice. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been told to choose you this day whom you're going to serve. He left you a will and left you a mind. All you got to do is just look at what you got going on in your life. Look at where the world going at. And look what he got to offer you. You had not got to a place you don't know why. Who in here don't know why you're going through it? We just say that old stupid stuff. And I don't know why. Or how, I don't know why. You do know why you're going through it. Nobody can tell that lie. That's a lie from hell. No good and done well. I don't even say to them, I don't know why I know how I know good and done well why. Yeah. I drunk enough look and ate enough pig. Yeah. I told enough lies and chased enough holes. Y'all yeah. you know, hear me? I smoked enough weed. I did enough to go contrary. He look at son, your punishment ain't even been nowhere near long you don't sit around and transgress, don't. Right. Ain't that right? I ain't been it ain't added up. It just hadn't added up. That's gotta look at it. Like you said, the truth be told when you put it down, not on them, the Yahoo Deem suck at mail. We come back and we'll desire an emotion or care from one another, but then we look at he been desiring care from us. How long you been without giving it to him? How many times he done called and told us something we had answered? But yet we'll hold each other such a hard restraint. We just no mercy with one another. And we forget all about how long they man been calling us. And the truth be told, the law ain't been actually instituted right with us because it's supposed to be eye for eye. Yeah. Supposed to be two for two. Supposed to be hand for hand. Supposed to be foot for foot. Yeah. Supposed to be real for real. Man, we in bad shape. We in bad shape. We so busy being meticulous on making sure we hold everybody's feet to the fire. We ain't look that. Somebody watching us too now. Somebody held our feet completely to the fire as it ought to be. Only man I know, you know, I, when I used to read, the, um, when I read the Bible as a young, younger child, I remember my mom would get me sometimes, she'd come to my room and get the Bible, sit on the bed, and tell me to read. I don't know what she would do. I couldn't read that. That was duh. <laughs> then she'd be saying the word. I was saying to myself, you probably want to read this. And I just listen. You <laughs> know, right? I think you probably might want to try to read this, and I just listen. But I was reading then as I got a little older. You know, I would read. You sit there. You look. Stuff didn't make sense. Especially started talking about this man was doing something that was some mercy. I was all confused. I was saying, just like with Dao, when he told him to choose what punishment, I see him saying, I'm kind of, I'm missing something. I didn't say, I never say he was wrong. I just felt like I'm missing something. Whenever it came down to getting some type of restitution or getting some kind of hurt, I just did not get no kind of way. There was no mercy in there. This, I'm not getting, all I'm looking at is the pain, the agony. I'm looking at the suffering and how long it's going on. But I look at what you could have gotten. What I could have gave you. Especially when I call and you didn't answer. Huh? Especially when I forbade you and you disobeyed. Yet we never sat back to consider if what I issue out, am I fair enough to take the same? Let's look at what he said. 18th chapter. Listen. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, mm -hmm. go and tell him his fault between what? thee and him alone. Come on, son. Come on. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. Come on, son. But if he would not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. Come on, son. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the congregation. But if he neglect to hear the congregation... Let him be unto thee as an heathen man and a publican. Come on. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on our writs shall be bound in Shamayim. Come on. And whatsoever ye shall loose on our writs shall be loosed in Shamayim. What verse shall now? 19. Come on to 22. Let's say one. Come on. Yahushua saith unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times 
but until seventy times seven. Come on. Therefore is the kingdom of Shamayim like unto a certain king which would take account of his servants. Y'all hear this? To like a certain Malachim, a Malak, that took account of his servant. What happened, son? And when he had begun to reckon, one was brought unto him which owed him 10,000 talents. Look at that. When he started to count over his servant, he realized, I got one of these jokers that owe me 10,000 talents. What happened, son? But for as much as he had not to pay, his ruler commanded him to be sold and his wife and children and all that he had in payment to be made. What happened, son? The servant therefore fell down and worshiped him, saying, Ruler, have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. Come on. Then the ruler of that servant was moved with compassion and loosed him and forgave him the debt. Come on. But the same servant went out and found one of his fellow servants. Mm. What has happened, son? Which owed him an hundred pence. And he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that thou owest. You hear that? What I want. Give me what I want. But you hadn't gave him what he wanted. Everybody here guilty of that. We're all guilty. Listen. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him, saying, Have patience with me. Wow, have patience with me. I ain't got it yet. I ain't got where I need to be yet. Let me get to where I need to be. Just like you want it, him to be merciful with you and let you get where you need to be. Ain't that something? Ain't that so good? All he let you get where you need to be and damn everybody else right off the rip. Soon the folk don't get what you need in two and three times or five times. Told you, give them 70 times seven. Huh? 70 times seven. Has it been that many times yet? That's only us. It's only us. A lot of times we do stuff, we just don't really sit down and consider doing. Somebody else said, won't you have patience with me? He had patience with you to get what you got. How many of y'all got that first time you heard the word, you transform and change? Okay, they got that. How I many soon you knew everything was right, you did it? Somebody had patience with you, huh? They didn't kill you off or count y'all. They didn't count y'all and cut y'all off in law. Well, he said, won't you do the same? Let's see what he said. Let's see if he said it was just. Come on. Have patience with me, and I will pay thee all. And he would not, but went and cast him into prison, till he should pay the debt. Come on. So when his fellow servants saw what was done, they were very sorry and came and told unto their ruler all that was done. Then his ruler, after that, he had called him and said unto him, O oh, thou wicked servant. Whoa, wicked. You hear what he called the one that didn't pay? You wicked servant. You couldn't pay your master. What happened? O oh, thou wicked servant. Yeah. I forgave thee all that oh, debt. Oh, he was talking about I thought he was talking about the one was wicked that couldn't pay. No. He was talking about the one that was requiring somebody else of something, and he had to be patient with him and forgave them and waited on them. Called them wicked. Say, I waited on you. I was patient with you. What happened? I forgave thee all that debt because thou desiredest me. Wow. Wow. I didn't never do it, our Allah told us. I don't remember the people I went and gave back sevenfold or five or four. I don't remember the people I went back and just gave them back what I owe them. But I desired them that he would forgive me. He forgave me all that debt. How many of y'all went back and gave sevenfold to everybody? Fivefold. Three? Twofold? How many of y'all paid back everybody y'all did wrong? But you came here because you wanted him to forgive you your debt. And you can't be patient and forgive nobody else their debt. That's all they ask. Be patient with me. Don't help them overnight. It don't help them overnight. That word had to keep being crossed a stony hard heart. When you've been, you know, this, the truth be told, we got more time, like I told before, going backwards than you got forward. You can't go back with 20, 30 years and turn around and go right a year, three, five, ten years and thought you caught up. 
You're still working on backward time. You ain't even got on straight time yet. You're trying to recover from backward time. I'm talking about going right now. Once you get through with your backward time, man, we put a lot of time in doing the wrong thing. A lot of time. Then when you turn around from, from turn around from going backward, you wind up turning around and got caught with something else and went backward some more. Then you stop from that stuff, you still ain't went nowhere. You still got yourself stagnated and held back. Now we got to set back to start considering. That's why you can't get yourself too overcharged with a lot of this stuff. You can't get yourself to where you can't forgive and you can't move past stuff. That stuff will hold you back, man. Y'all got to remember, y'all all still got to go to judgment. Yeah. Include me. So they come down this, you can't afford to be holding a whole lot of stuff over nobody. That's all you do, make sure you get it right. If you got it right and you know how it go, well, he did it for you, he won't do it for nobody else. You the only one he gonna let get it right. You the only one he gonna let get a right mind or learn how to deal with people and you learn how to do what you're supposed to do, learn how to operate and learn how to be faithful, continue what you're doing, he gonna do it for nobody else. Then we sell like our do and then let the rest of us eat and drink for tomorrow we die. We all had to look at how we do stuff. Listen, what happened, son? Should it not thou also have had compassion on thy fellow servant? Same thing I told you. Should you have compassion on somebody? Listen. Even as I had pity on thee. Wow. Just like I had it on you. What happened, son? And his ruler was wroth and delivered him to the tormentors till he should pay all that was due unto him. Mm. Y'all can keep it over people here. That's fine. <laughs> this is a figure of speech people say, but this is literally right. You got hell to pay. You got hell to pay. He said, gave him to the tormentor. I catch him where he's going to pay, and then you still going to wind up going out here and you're going to be tormented. That's too much for me. We're going to start looking at how we do things, how we exercise things. That's too high for you. Not forgiving, holding stuff, even these marriages in here, different way how y'all do stuff. Y'all let too many other things get in the way. Y'all got to be careful how y'all do stuff. Pick my son at the third chapter of 2 Timothy chapter 3. 3 and 10. Y'all all right? Amen. Try to set an example too. We got all these new ones coming on. Got a marriage coming on this weekend. Most high see fit. I told Brittany she got to get jumped in. I said, you can do it now and you can do it later. I said, you're going to come in the house, we're going to throw a blanket on you and start beating you. I said, when you want it? She said, I don't know. I said, it's coming. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3. Give me uh, verse 10. Listen. But thou hast fully known my doctrine. What else, son? Manner of life. Manner of life. Purpose. Purpose. Faith. What else? Long suffering. And what else? Charity. Long suffering. Saying you know my love. What happened, son? Patience. Persecutions. <clears throat> Patience and persecution. Come afflictions, on. Afflictions. Which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, with persecutions I endured. Come on. But out of them all, Allahim delivered me. See, that's what you got to have a confidence to do. He'll deliver you. He said, I had to have long suffering. That's why you can see my pain. He said, You don't know it. Look at my patience of how I went through and how I came out of it. Look how long I suffered with it. But then look at the love I demonstrated. Y'all hear me? All that we got to consider, it first got to start with us. Everything we're looking to do has got to start with us. Come on. Yea, and all that will live righteous in the Mashiach Yahusha. Will do what? Shall suffer persecution. Y'all hear this? All that's going to live Sadiq, he said they're going to suffer persecution. What happened, son? But evil men and seducers. Uh-oh. But evil men and seducers. Shall wax worse and worse. Doing what? Deceiving and being deceived. Yes. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned yes. and hast been assured of. Uh-huh. Knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Mm -hmm. And that from a child thou hast known the Kudash scriptures. Which, which are, are able what? to make thee wise. That's bad. Some of have been knowing this a long time. He said it's able to make you wise. Ain't right? Know how to deal with situations. Ain't that right? Learn how not to get yourself trapped and hedged in with a lot of things. Which are able to make thee wide through what? Other one, you give salvation. me Matthew, Yahoo chapter 24 at verse 12. Listen. Unto salvation through faith, which is in Mashiach, Yahusha. Listen. All scripture is given by inspiration of Allahim. That's why we use the book. Ain't it profitable? 
For doctrine. And what else? See, for, we're going to teach someone we're going to teach. Go back and look at the scripture. For what else, son? For reproof. That we're going to go back to make sure we can check it. Come on. For correction. That's what we use it for. We're trying to correct behaviors. We're trying to correct some wrongs. Ain't that right? Get rid of them and make them right. Y'all got to get the mindset of state. Get out of this is how I am. This is how I've always been. That's a lot of things I've always done. That has nothing to do with me being saved. I tell you, you can't keep living off of what somebody ain't never showed you and what you ain't seen. Y'all been taught. I don't care what, 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 what Timothy was taught in his home by his father. We don't know. Book don't teach us. Told about his grandmother and his mother. About the faith. He's unpersuaded it's in you. But he told him, say, you fully know mine. So he let him know. Why are you tell a man that? You fully know my doctrine, my manner of life, my purpose, my faith, my long suffering. So let them know you ain't got no excuse. Right. What excuse y'all got? I hadn't seen nobody do it. You ain't got no excuse. The book tell y'all y'all without excuse. Every one of y'all, the book tell you without excuse. Yeah. Whosoever you are, you without excuse. Yeah. Everybody in here know how you're supposed to operate from these teenagers, these kids, the same way with these adults. Y'all know good where to marry, to sing, to sell. Everybody here know how you're supposed to conduct yourself. Now, what we use the scripture for? Go back to correct it. For instruction in what else, son? For instruction in righteousness. That, that the man, man all of him may be perfect. Through the furnished. Unto all good works. The 24th chapter of the book of Matthew Yahoo. <clears throat> 24 and 10. Oh, and give me the third chapter of the book of Yerim Yahoo. Yerim Yahoo. Third chapter. Other brother, you get me Yerim Yahoo chapter 30, I think about verse 1. Hold that for me. Listen. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another. Y'all hear that? Many shall be offended and shall betray one another. What happened, son? And shall hate one another. Uh-oh, they're bad. Say they don't hate one another. What, listen what happened. How this happen? And many false prophets shall arise. Yeah. And shall deceive many. Yeah. And because iniquity... Shall abound. Uh oh. Y'all better be careful. Mm. I don't think good to hate one another and get up like that. I told you what happened. These are signs. Ain't these false prophets ain't out here? He told they're gonna rise. Then he said, and because iniquity shall what? Abound. Become more abundant. Tell them what's gonna happen. The love of many shall wax cold. What happened? But he that shall endure unto the end. The same shall be saved. I'm holding on. That's right. I'm holding on. I don't want that. I don't want that spirit. I don't want that mindset. That's right. I don't want it. it man, these signs for us now. That's right. That man was trying to pick me up sign the 24 and 1. Listen what happened. And Yahushua went out and departed from the temple. Listen. And his disciples came <coughs> to him for to shew him the buildings of the temple. Yeah. And Yahushua said unto them, See ye not all these things? There shall be what? Verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another. There shall not be thrown down. He said, I'm taking that junk down. Listen. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, yeah. the disciples came unto him privately, saying, What they want to know? Tell us, when shall these things be? When shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of What's thy coming? What's going to be the signs of what? Of thy coming. Of your coming. And tell me the last thing they want to know. And of the end of the world. He said, that's what they want to know. When this temple coming down, what we need to look for to see when you coming. And we ain't going to be the end of the world. He started letting you know what you need to look for. And when he husband, wife, and brothers and sisters are key and are cool, y'all know good and well y'all guilty. I know the thing ended. Y'all show it and demonstrate y'all behavior. Mm. He said, the love of men is going to wax cold. Shaul told y'all, even men and seducers are going to wax worse and worse. The seed and being the seed. Y'all better make sure y'all ain't being the seed. Amen. He ain't got no spirit that tell her the whole name. Can't forget. I, he gonna put a spear on me and tell me you can't forget nobody. Mm. Now you gotta be careful. Yeah. Especially kind of how y'all supposed to operate in these marriages. Y'all yeah. married for y'all ready for a married me. Ain't that right? Single for two. Last single married I got. Last single married I had. Me and I had. I wanna give me three marriages out of it. Mm. Maybe I get these married folk to remarry each other. <laughs> Man, they were right. That's for everybody. Y'all better be careful. Y'all don't say him look you want to. He done told you, I and the children that I give me are for what? Signs. Sign. Who am I going to be looking for a love that wax cold? Uh, 
the racist rednecks right in here. be watching us. He said, "Cause sin, he let you know the only thing that happened, sin getting bunny. It get more and more bunny. That's what Shaul told her. They're going to get worse and worse. Be deceived and being deceived. But be careful around him. A lot of that stuff y'all got, how y'all love get cold? Mm. But the book told y'all about that, didn't it? Yeah. About the love of men and waxing cold? Yeah. We ain't got nothing, what we got in the book to tell about that? Causing iniquity abound. Hmm. That tight. Y'all ain't got nothing. Your preacher ain't taught y'all nothing, huh? Preacher ain't, who that said no? Luke? What Luke say? Loot? What Luke taught her? Oh, and Solomon and Gomorrah, about their love, wax, and gold. Let's go ahead and get uh, all uh, hey, Dabarim. 28. That's wax fag now. You're talking about loot. That's wax fag. We don't want to wax fag. You're talking about a nickel to bound it. The love of many going to wax cold. 281. Let's see what it say first. Mm-hmm. Listen. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahuwah thy Elohim. What happens, son? To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. What do we say about observe? Shamar. That's what y'all hadn't done. You hadn't shamar. That's why a lot of y'all couldn't call that word because you don't know it because you haven't been doing it. Can't call something you ain't been doing. Hold on, I know that answer. Have you ever known it? No. Do you know it now? No, but I know I know it. You don't know it because you haven't been doing it. You brought the Shema, observe, keep. Come on, son. That Yahuwah, thy Elohim, will set thee on high above all nations of the Aritz. Y'all hear this? Y'all didn't let you know. If you sure you say here and you Shema, I'm going to set you above all nations. Upon the where? All nations of the Aritz. Y'all hear that? I'm going to set you above all nations upon the Aritz. That's why I put them on the two. That's what he did. He said the Father gave him a commandment on what he should say and what he should do. That's what he showed him. He told him what he was going to do. He shamed everything the Father told him. That's why he set him on high, above him. Even when he took him up and put him in the Shamaims, he put him above all nations because he obeyed. You trying to get somewhere, you don't even know how to get there. That's why you still setting the low level line in that you in now. That's why you suffer the things y'all suffer. This is exactly why y'all hear so many headbutts and roadblocks in your life, because you hadn't obeyed. Yes, and y'all who cried in the bed, they have not all obeyed. You sit here hearing, and you will sit back and look at our forefathers side. How can somebody be so stupid and not to sit here and obey what this man told them? When they are their own mouth saying, who else got laws and statutes so right? Who else has all of him so near unto him as we do? Yeah, he say he ain't gave you a promise you messed it up. Same way you do it today. They sit back and got to look at us and say, you ain't no better than me. You dumb than me. You should have learned by my examples. Now I have grown up in broken home, bad marriage, and watch how things have worked. Whether one person would not cooperate or both people, why would you keep the same mentality? But we'll see why. Because iniquity abound, the many where it's cold. Talk on down to something about the 50th verse of that same book. That gets to him. He don't told you about what he was trying to give you. I'm trying to set you on high. You know why you can't get that? You don't even know what it takes to get there. You said thinking this is insignificant. You waiting on the promise to come. You're not going to get it. You know why you're not going to get it? Because you had to first get the law. The book told you that in the fourth chapter of the book of uh, Galatia, he asked you why then, after, in the third chapter of the book of Galatia, he told you why didn't serve the law. He said it was added because of transgression until the seed should come to whom the promise was made. Why did it make sense? I skipped law, go straight to promise. Don't make sense. The law is what got us to the promise. Right. It was added, it was put there to get you to the promise. Right. 
I went, grabbed the promise, and came back and get the law. No, it was saying him to get you to keep you till you get the promise. That's why the law was there. He gave Abraham a promise, didn't he? Did Abraham get it? No, Abraham kept the law. To it come, keep the law. That's the only way you're going to get to it, to keep the law. If he'd have been and got out from the law, wouldn't been no promise. He taught it to his children, to his children, to that they should stay on the path. That's how the promise got him. When you go back and you track his seed, everybody you're going to track that was of his seed that was accounted for the promise, they got it. His seed was accounted on the day of what we call Feast of Weeks. That's how they got it. Come said the promise is unto you and to your children, which will signify that you are the children of Abraham. And you kept the law. That's why they were there. Tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high. What's going to make me, how long I'm going to stay? I'm already, I just happened to go to Jerusalem like he told me. I just finished keeping um, Pesach. Now I'm sitting here looking for the Feast of Weeks. So it's going to make sense when I got it, when it was fully come. I'm already here because I'm keeping the law. That was dwelling in Jerusalem, the Yahudim. It made sense when it came. It made sense. It came to people that kept the law. Yeah. All right, 50 the chapter. Listen, 28 and 50. Listen. A nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old. Y'all hear that? This us. This, now, this is what a man tell you what's going to happen. Here go the na a nation that's going to come up. Look at these white folks. He's talking about white folks of a fierce council that will not regard who, Brandon? The person of the old. Or who else, son? Nor shoe favor to the young. That's why you can see that little black boy sitting with that rope around the neck. Didn't I tell you this was going to happen? You sit around and say, how they shot down Kathy Johnson, 98 years old? Nigga, didn't you read? I done gave y'all the opportunity where you get the promise. I was going to set you on high above the other nations. But since you transgressed and you so willing to stay in your own way, now you're going to take this. That's how you know I'm talking. Now you know he's talking. You wouldn't listen before, now you know he's talking. When you sit here and watch your old getting gunned down and your children, I told you it was coming. You wouldn't listen when I told you about the blessings I was going to put on you. You'll hear me now when he curses hit you. Listen to the book. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle. Wow. Come on, son. And the fruit of thy land. Wow. Come on. Until thou be destroyed. Listen. Which also shall not leave thee either corn, wine, or oil, or the increase of thy kind, or flocks of thy sheep. Man, look at them Europeans coming and wiped us out. These people wiped us out. Look at us now. Still ain't got nothing. Listen. Until he have destroyed thee. Come on. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates. Yes. Until thy high and fenced walls come down. Listen. Wherein thou trustest throughout all thy land. And he shall besiege thee and all thy gates throughout all the land which Yahuwah thy Allahim hath given thee. Listen. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thine own body. That's us. Now you're accountable. You're going to destroy your own. Ain't that right? You know how this happened? Because iniquity abounded. Love of many. Well, you know what it takes for a mother to say, you don't own kid. Health ain't got no love. Huh? Say here and throw your babies off of bridges. Now look at, you ain't never seen so many women that got so many hormone problems. I know why you got them, because of sin. That's the only way to make a mother do that. I ain't heard that years ago a woman just go kill her own kid, put them in a bathtub one by one and drown them and kill them. You ain't never seen so many disabled women before in your life. Your menstruals all jacked up. Your bleed done now 300 days a week. This man, I'm punished. He come back to punish us. He punished. They know, him, they know what I'm talking about of him. Get the done crap joke, a ball all up, can't move, eat up a whole chocolate done cow. He punishing us. I know it, is. it might seem funny. The reason why I ain't laughing. This man been talking. We ain't listen. We been blaming. The man told, I'm going to put a people on your behind of a fierce council. They ain't going to regard the Tell me these white folk regard the old or the young. Tell me this book lying. Tell me this book is lying. This book can't make no people hard to do that. He done told you I put it in their heart to do it. Because we transgress. Them folk done ate up there. We ain't nothing for no Jerusalem. Them folk destroyed us. 
They took everything. Yes, and Yahoo told in the 49th chapter. When they were going to look and we were going to say the place was too straight, make room. They were going to say, which got me these? Oh, little childless. Where did you even come from? They murdered and slaughtered our babies. We were starved. We ate our own fruit. Look at them. Want them to do the same thing today. Listen to the book. The flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters, which Yahuwah thy Elohim hath given thee, in the siege and in the straightness, wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee. Look at that. When he fore take you captive, when he fore had you so distressed, listen. So that the man that is tender among you, what happens, and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother, and toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. I wonder why they have. Because iniquity abounds, eh? Love of many. Wet. You know what bad they don't pay attention to? I don't know why y'all listen to his speech y'all didn't know this. Y'all had never been taught this, huh? He was trying to tell you when that temple was coming down. This is what he's telling you right here. They're going to destroy that whole place. They're going to take the gates down. Mm -hmm. Now Yahushua came and seen tell you the same thing. You should have listened. Hitherto my father work. Get what? I do the same thing. What you think of make a man look like that? The man ain't no better than the women. They sorry, none caring, none compassion their own wife and kids. Something wrong with a man do that. Something wrong. Everybody should have to beg you know how to treat no dumb woman. You know good and done well you know how to treat your wife. But when you got some other junk going on, in front of the men that went here, you got some other junk going on, it's going to be a problem. Yeah. That's what he telling you right here. The only reason he tell you it's a problem called sin. Yeah. A neck with a bound. Why you think your love so cold? Yeah. Don't want nobody to talk to you. Don't want nobody to touch you. Don't want nothing to do with nobody. You going to lay your behind Not in my house you won't. Same thing, y'all shouldn't be saying, but something wrong, and people ain't getting back to look at it. It need to scare you the fact that you manifest in the word. That man tell you all these are signs to let you know this the end. That was sign for them. No, this is the end file behind. That was the end for them. And you say, hey, you manifest, you still ain't becoming conscious. Listen to the book. So that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat. Because yes. he has... Come on. Because he hath nothing left him in the siege. Come on. And in the straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee in all thy gates. Come on. The tender and delicate woman among you. Oh, nice sisters. Sweet sisters. Good brothers. Oh, good brothers. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. That sister and brother are wonderful. And no. Oh, 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 oh. Book talking. Listen. Which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground. <laughs> for what happened, son? For delicateness and tenderness. Uh huh. Her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom. That'll scare me. That'll scare me. That'll scare me. That'll scare me. My heart, I knew good and well that my heart was evil toward my wife. That'll scare me. But I say here read that in that book. And in fact, it was in that book before I got here. Now I say it manifested. Huh? All this was the end for them. Y'all know when this happened? The end was coming. What verse that is, Brandon? Verse 56. 56. See what uh, 59 say. Listen. Then Yahuwah will make thy plagues wonderful. Come on. And the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, and of long continuance and sore sicknesses and of long continuance. Yeah. Moreover, he will bring upon thee... The blood pressure and diabetes. They just ramp it through us. Cancel. He told you, I'm getting... He wearing us out. Y'all yeah. know why we got it too? We got these diseases from these people. We know about no cancer. We got mixed in with these people. We sat right here and got right outside our land, got hooked in these people. They may have been punishing us too. We've been punished with these people. They ramp it through our family. Yeah. Huh? I don't just get it. My seed get it. My seed seed get it. He said, I'm going to make it long. I'm going to make it continuous for you. I'm going to make sure I punish y'all real good. Sad part of it, it was supposed to turn it to him. Yeah. Huh? I'm going to make your plague, I'm going to make them just dreadful. I'm going to make your plagues awful. Huh? And a long continuous. You ain't going to get rid of them. They're going to stay with you a long time. Do you think we got enough sense as a people to turn to him? Mm -mm, still a nigga. Huh? He gave me a thought. If you let me say it, I say it. Yes, I will. You still a nigga. Huh? I got authority. You still a nigga. This should turn your heart. This should turn your mind. You should be calling on your ruler, telling that man, man, forgive me. I'm messed up. That word eat me up. It ain't doing it to me for no reason. Man, I got so 
delicate, so tender, so sweet that your eye even, even towards your own husband. And a man that would be so delicate would set his heart be even toward his own kids, his own wife. Oh, that's scary. He want to let you know, I'm going to make your pledge, though. I'm going to make them long. I'm going to make you suffer for this one. Because you know what's bad about it? I told you. It's like you tell your kid, don't mess with that now. I'm going to tell you one last time, don't mess with it again. And the kid go ahead and mess with him. You kind of, you know what you do? You make that pledge long. I'm going to beat you. Because I know I told you. I won before I got you. And you went on ahead and went. And you know what you did? What bad? Y'all still go ahead. He told you about that. You went on forwardly. You went on forwardly. You did it anyhow, huh? You did it anyhow. All right. I had to be honest with y'all. I told y'all 98% y'all ain't going to make it. Because y'all ain't sitting back here and look, book got you. Y'all done read that Matthew Yahoo, I don't know how many times. You didn't realize, if you'd have read Dabba Reed and paid attention, it would tell you the same thing. Talk to me, son. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the diseases of Mizraim. Mm -hmm. You're going to get pestilence too. You look at he told you that the, when he told you about um, Ari Yah and by Matthew Yahoo. He started telling y'all it was going to happen. Love a minute, we're going to ask, we told you about your city to the sea. You're talking about the sea, they're going to take it down. Same thing Yahushua was telling you. Huh? They were going to hedge your behind in. Told you to the time of the Gentile be fulfilled. He told you all this stuff was going to happen. He was going to take you down. Listen. Which thou wast afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Listen. Everything all you been scared of, they're going to stay with you. Who I hope I don't get counsel. Who? Who? Now he said, you know what? That's what you're afraid of. Got it. Everything you've been afraid of, I'm finna make sure you get it. What you gonna do with all of him like that? Everything you're afraid of, I'm gonna make sure you get it. Lord, no, I hope we don't go broke. I'm gonna make you broke. That's what you're scared of. Because you know he wants you to learn. You should have feared me. Right. Everything you've been afraid of, everything you're afraid of, he said, I'm gonna make you suffer now. That's what you scared of. What you scared of? Gunshot. I'm gonna keep him around you. Everything you're afraid of, you won't fear me. Now you got to pay. Huh? Now I got to cut you. Huh? You done gone and, you done gone and called a man a liar. Now I got to cut you. Come on outside quick. Huh? Now I got to cut you. You gonna get a sword now. Come on. Also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law. Tell me what happened, son. Them will Yahuwah bring upon thee. Don't you worry about nothing ain't in this book. Man, I'm sitting here and told you about it. You know no man made Daniel. All them diseases, they ain't in the Bible. White man made them up. He said, nah, nigga, I told you about that. I told him, he said, when y'all remember hearing about these diseases? And you done went back and looked in your law, I told you about them. Yeah. Well, it made sense that you knew what they were to say you didn't know what they were. That made me a liar. You didn't know what they were, and I didn't put them in that book, but I let you know some stuff was going to come on you. Yeah. Didn't he do it? Yeah. Everything you going through suffering, it ain't in that book, but I told you, it is in the book, because I told you you going to get it. Yeah. Huh? I told you you're going to be sore and you're going to be burning. I told you you're going to be vexation. I told you how it is. That's to be honest. Woman ain't got no compassion for her kids. Man ain't got no love for his wife. Kids ain't got no care for their parents. The book being fulfilled. Hard-headed, street-running, rambunctious, lying, cheat, no good. Just let you know the end coming. Got to be done. It's got to be done this way. Hmm? It's got to be done this way. How many of y'all seen that movie, The Godfather? When Michael Corleone was getting ready to go and he was going to kill the guy that shot his daddy, a police chief and the head of one of the five family, the guy who was sending him up with the gun, he said, it's going to be a pretty bad war. He said, yeah. He said, but every couple of years, he said, it got to be like that. He said, help get rid of some of the bad blood. He said, every now and then, it's got to be like that. That's how you got to get rid of some of the bad blood. Truth be told, we got a lot of bad blood in him. A lot of bad blood. But he going to get you. None of y'all ain't got away. That's the thing about it. How you gonna escape when well, you don't neglect this so great salvation? How you gonna escape? That's the sad part, though. How many of you guys have gotten away? You always getting caught, but y'all going back anyway. Then you wanna know how long I'm gonna suffer, how long they gonna be, when they gonna be. You gonna see? They wanna know when these things gonna be, what we're gonna be the side here coming with the end of the world. I guarantee they got through then they were saying, they can start talking now. I ain't nothing gonna be like this. It's, exactly, they gonna be a mess. Come on. Until thou be destroyed. What? Until I cut y'all. See that? I'll tell you by the end. Come on. And ye shall be left few in number, whereas ye were as the stars of Shamayim for multitude. What, what happened, son? Because thou wouldest not obey the voice of Yahuwah thy Allahim. Now you know why you're so cold and nasty with your kids. 
Nobody didn't know you so nasty as a husband, nasty as a wife. Now you know why. Because you wouldn't obey the voice. Yeah. I tried to talk to you in the 28th verse, but you wouldn't listen. 28th chapter began, I tried to talk to you. But you wouldn't listen. Now you'll listen because you wouldn't obey. Don't go ask anybody. How, how many of y'all going through something you don't know why? I can tell you tonight. Who in here going through something they ain't got a clue why? Yeah, I know you. That's a good. They ain't going to do it. They don't want me to embarrass them. They know why. Don't, don't pull that nigga stuff. I'm, a, I'm on deck. Who need to know why? Who going through? They don't know why. Who troubling that way? They got to cry sometime. They don't know why. I ain't answer. You know good and done where well, you know why. Man, that right. Sitting the blame. Man, tell you right here what the problem is. I'm having a hard time with how to love my wife, how to treat my wife. Ain't no hard time knowing it, but you're having a hard time obeying. Ain't hard to love to do what that man tell you to obey this book. That being the only way everybody in here, ain't no, ain't no excuse for nobody in here. Everybody need no long counsel. You know what this book tell you. When it gonna change? It been saying the same thing. Huh? When it gonna change? Ain't no hard time with no wife to love no husband. It's the book. And y'all get away from sin. Y'all to do what the man tell you. You said, well, I ain't commit sin. You hear when I tell you to do something, you don't do it. Yeah. That's sin. Yeah. I tell you, don't go to don't go to them naked movie, Leon. You don't wind up going there less than you don't wind up going to hell. Leon gonna go in there and say, I went there, I ain't even lost. What's the problem though? He went in high, he going to hell. And he don't realize he was lusting. He was lusting to go against what I told him. See, where y'all mind mess up at? You know what you're thinking? He think, I, I ain't getting I want masturbating. I ain't want, but you were lusting to go contrary to what I told you to do. See how he trap you up. Every time folk be thinking they smarter than him, this man, so he get us every time. Because you're going to look at what made him go? Lust. Lust made him go. Ain't that right? See, that's what I love about this book. You can't be smart in this man. All you can do, he said as much as the servant if he could be as a master. Amen. I can't be over there, man. All I can do is be, it'd be the best I can do to be as he is. He's the best I can do. I don't try to outsmart him. I can't do it. He's too smart. That thing you do is comply and submit and obey. Say, it's got to be me. If I let Haywood hold me back, Haywood, you ain't my problem. It's me. Because there's no commandment such to tell me Haywood going to hold me back. It got to be I let you hold me back because that's what I want to do. Y'all can't, can't use that stuff. These people out here required to do what they doing. Yeah. When he sent the devil, he didn't tell you he going to stop the devil. He told I told you he was coming. I told him he come. He didn't have long. I told you going to be destruction. Why you didn't prepare yourself? Right. Give me that third chapter book of Yom Yahoo. I could have finished that up. I got to move quick. I ain't got, this ain't, uh, this ain't Shabbat night. This ain't um, Shabbat night. But y'all need to hear this. Listen. They say if a man put away his wife. And do what? And she go from him. And do what now, son? Become another man's. What happened, son? Shall he return unto her again. So what happened? Not that land be greatly polluted. Now you got to look at what other folks saying. Now everybody know that means something. Huh? What you in here for, Leon? He pulled on and chopped up somebody. That's what folks say. A lot of people say it, though. A lot of people say it, though. Ain't that right? A lot of people saying it, though. What folks say make a difference. And he was upset about that, and he said, that's what folks say. What are you talking about? I'm talking about what people say. What happened, son? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers. You said, keep going? Yet return again to me, saith Yahuwah. I said, I'll take you back. I won't worry about what other folks say. I said, I'll take you back. You be worried about what other people say. That's why you do some of the things you do. People are going to say you stupid. People are going to say, if I was you, I wouldn't do it. He said, folk talking to it if I take you back. He said, but I said I would, though. What are we going to say to a man and why go out here and just start sleeping around with all these brothers come back? What are we going to say? Man, you so done stupid. Yep. Ain't no way in the world I took her back. And what, what you going to wind up doing? I ain't going to take her because too many folks said they wouldn't take you back. Yeah. He said, but I love you, though. Yeah. But I love you, though. I love you. I take you back. Mm. So we ain't consider that. The truth be told, that's us. Yeah. 
How many of y'all gonna take a woman and go out here and whore around a bunch of people, brother? How many of y'all take her? And everybody know it. That's gonna be the thing. Probably you love her and folk didn't, but everybody know it. How many of y'all women gonna take a man out here and whore around all them women and everybody know it? Y'all know we wrong. He said, you done done it though, and I took you back. Every time we, every time you been told to do something, he told you to do it, and you went, and you ain't obeyed. That was another level. And you know what's sad about it? Prince tried to tell you about that before. He told you you needed another level, like you needed a hole in your head. How many of y'all need a hole in your head? You didn't need no another level. And that Prince tried to tell him, though. He said, you need another level, like, just like you need a hole in your head. That don't even make sense. See, you think about your clothes now, but he's looking at any time you get your spirit over, you get your soul, that's the most precious thing you got. Huh? He said, you can't even redeem your brother. That's how I made, that's how I set your soul. That's how high price I put your soul. He said, no way I can go and I can redeem that man. It's impossible. You know why? He said, redeem your soul too costly. So when you go and you'll get it over and listen to somebody else and when he do what he tell you, you know how many folks you've been with, Cam? You know how many people you've been with, CJ? You know how many people you've been, you know how many people I've been with? Man said, but I'll take you back. I wouldn't get you a mistreat you. I'll take you back. People talking, though. But I'll take you back. Why we ain't got that kind of love for one another? Husband and wife. Why we ain't got it? Hmm, that's tight. Let's see what he said in the 30th chapter right quick. I'm going to try to get ready to let y'all go. They're tight. Give me the 15th chapter book, and I'll try to finish up at um, your Ukanon chapter 15. Boy, I sure wish I know that book. That's a lot we do wrong. And we ought to make it easier to be lovable, too. We look at what he told the third. Do y'all get home tonight? Y'all read that 13th chapter of the book of Corinthians. He didn't tell y'all about what charity or love. So man, love is kind. Love is long-suffering. Hmm? I go look at man, you got love, you gotta be careful. Gotta be real careful. 30th chapter. 30 and 1. Listen. Yam Yahoo? Yam Yahoo, chapter 30, verse 1. Listen. The word that came to Yam Yahoo. Hold on, got me the 15th chapter of the book of uh, 15th chapter of the book of Yahukana. Hold that for me. Listen. The word that came to Yam Yahoo from Yahuwah saying, Thus speaketh the Allahim, Yahuwah of Yashra. <laughs> yeah. Saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. Mm -hmm. For lo, the days come, said Yahuwah, that I will bring again the captivity of my people, Yashral and Yahuda. Yeah. said <laughs> Yahuwah, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. And these are the words that Yahuwah spake concerning Yashral and concerning Yahuda. Yeah. For thus said Yahuwah, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man does travail with child. Mm -hmm. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands in his loins? Pick me up at 31 and 1. Listen. At the same time, said Yahuwah, will I be the Allahim of all the families of Yashral? Yes. And they shall be my people. Yes. Thus said Yahuwah, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness. Ain't that beautiful? That's up, man. We found grace. We in the wilderness. I talked about before about our key out there. I told him, he eyes for us. We couldn't say our way. We found grace in the way. Y'all tell this grace. I, I heard somebody had an old Teddy Center song they had made out of me and a guy used to read me years ago. I was listening, calling them books by them Greek names and all this. I said, wow, man, just the difference they make to learn the names and just where we going and where we trying to get to and get back to our land. He did the same for us. We found grace. See, now I understand that. You look at all them people being destroyed, but you look at the people he spared. He spared us. A lot of our forefathers, a lot of people going on. A lot of people going on. I'm mean, people that had good moral characters, good standard, prayed always. Man, old folk, you sit there people know, you know what they're known for? Every time I sit they be reading their Bible. Always be singing, always singing a song. I remember my wife, grandmother, man, she had a table with grandma. Her grandma started talking, she would close her eyes, start praying. Every time she said, Grandma, so, so, so. she would be talking that thing, thinking him, just start praying. You'd be looking, saying, That woman prayed all the time. Head uncovered, night, little pearl, little earring, hair out, being holy, dead and gone. 
They ain't gone. You to yep. get on my wife's seat, you to get on them, they to come down, they to wear pants. I'm, oh, look at you with your little pants on. Make them feel bad. They said, all we had to wear, come wear pants. We going over grandma's house. You got to, can't wear no pants. You go there. All that she did just to go to hell. My granddad had faith for Deacon. My mother was talking about daddy never would cuss. He's a sinner waiting to burn in hell. Y'all hear me? Both had good little morals to yep. always work. One of my cousins called him because I sent some money for granddaddy. They wanted to do so. I thought he was trying to get a tune. So I said, I sent some money. Huh? He said, we want to get him a stained glass wonder. I said, a what? A stained glass? Daddy worked hard. He called him. He said, man, he'd have me work in that church. If I sent a dying next morning to get a wonder, man, I'd go to hell and go through the window. Pay me no done in the window, no church. If I send a dime for it, may I be thrown through, may I go to hell being thrown through that stained glass window. Hollering, granddaddy! Pay no money for no food like that. Y'all, may I go to hell through the window. Get no money for no junk like that. Ain't got time no food like that. Granddad going to hell, where he going? He don't need no window. He going to be in the river. Ain't that right? Nigga gonna be crying me a ribble. Y'all don't realize we don't found grace in the will. We got made to distribute the same. He said the people we were left for the soil. We don't found grace in his wilderness. Come on, son. Even Yasharal, when I went to cause him to rest, Yahuwah has appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Mm, that tight. He love them wax cold. So I don't love you with everlasting love. What happened, son? Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Hold me why. Hey, y'all you this? Loving kindness have I drawn thee. Want to draw somebody, you got to be loving kind. You can't do it on just your time. We ain't convenient for you. Everything, y'all remember, y'all in the marriage, everything about you. Y'all about to get married, Brent. This y'all counseling again here, too. Everything going to be about you. Everything going to be about him. Isn't that right? One thing about him, though, he made it about us. He said, all I want you to do is do my will. I looked out for you even when you weren't with me. Isn't that right? I spared you when I could have killed you. Isn't that right? We found grace in the will. Why you can't distribute something that's ain't when you probably be a mate together? Isn't that right? Definitely to have that. Man said, with love and care, that's how I got you. Huh? After you were wounded, after you had been beat up, after you had been in battle, I was here waiting on you. Huh? Well, though, we waiting to shame you and run you down when you beat down. Man, I said, with love and kindness, man, that's how I draw you. Ain't that right? So I done loved you. Well, I've been loving you. I ain't just started loving you today. I'm a, you know what? I need to learn how to, I've been loving you. You ought to feel bad because I've been loving you. Huh? Oh, it bad. But see, we got to first learn how to fix ourselves on, learn how to love him and learn ourselves, mm -hmm. love ourselves. Then we learn how to love one another. Yeah. Ain't that right? Even husband, why? Because regardless of what Owen do, it shouldn't change how you love him. Ain't that right? It shouldn't change your care to him. That say something about you. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody say something about a man who can't look and love your wife. Nobody's trying to beg you for no love. Nobody's trying to beg you for no love. That's your wife. That day that I read that book, that book tell me, say my heart going to be turned against my wife. I be scared. I be looking saying, man, that thing ain't talking to me. Might ain't getting my behind right. Shouldn't have that man gone. I'd be embarrassed. That boy told me, said, my heart going to be turned against. That can't be for my good. Yeah. Make my heart so it be again. And my kids, that I despise y'all. That day, I don't want to do that, my kid. I hope my kid, I don't treat y'all like that, do. I love my kid. They know I've been over back and try to get Isn't that right? I don't know my wife. I give him. I don't, mm -mm. don't want to be like that. That bad spirit. Everybody in here, but he told you what's going to happen. A nickel to bound. The love where it's cold. That's the way it starts. A lot of us, we can check right around our house and see how we're doing. Yeah. Right. Isn't that right? Why I can't? Why I can be so cold like that and still be saved? Explain that to me. How it don't even matter. Everything matter. My soul on the line. Yeah. My soul on the line. I had to drop how I feel about stuff. I got to let that junk go. Yeah. My soul on the line. Y'all hear me? Yeah. I mean, burn all kind of way for that. I can't hold that stuff, man. I got to keep moving. Stuff hurts you. Don't make you feel good. At the end of the day, though, I got a little right. You got a little right. That's the way it's going to work. You got a little right. Can't you? I love, do your love right, though. You can love the world. When you yeah. love, you got to love right. Come on, son, to this, to this uh, 
15th chapter of the book of your yeah, Ukanam let y'all go. This ended up right here, because this ain't called one thing about it, and I do apologize, because everything I done say here and told y'all, and in a sense, I kind of set y'all up, because I told y'all thing, and it didn't even pertain to y'all, it was talking about him. It was talking about him, how he loved. Long suffering. That's how he draws you with love. I always done loved you. You hear me? Man, every time I set you up, you can't do it. Because they were talking about him. See, a lot of people teach stuff. They put things in the wrong content. They don't even tell people. It was talking about him. This is the 15th chapter of the book of Yerukanon. Talk down and give me about verse 20. Listen. Remember the word that I said unto you. Remember the what? The word. That I said unto you. What was it, son? The servant is not greater than his master. What happened, son? If they have persecuted me. What happened? They will also persecute you. Yeah. If they have kept my saying. Yeah. They will keep yours also. What happened, son? But all these things will they do unto you mm -hmm. for my name's sake. Yeah. Because they know not him that sent me. Mm -hmm. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. Back me up and give me what verse? There were 20. Back me up. Give me a that verse 18. Let me see what that's saying. If the world hate you, ye you know that it hated me before it hated you. Mm -hmm. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. Yeah. But because ye are not of the world, yeah. but I have chosen you out of the world, yeah. therefore the world hateth you. Yeah. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his master. Mm -hmm. If they have persecuted me. See the, the tenth chapter, see the tenth chapter of the book of Matthew. Whatever reason, 10, 22, 14, 24, 10. Let me see what 10, 20 say. Listen. For it is not ye that speak, but the Ruach of your father which speaketh in you. Mm -hmm. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. Mm-hmm. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Mm -hmm. But when they persecute you in this city, flee ye into another. For verily I say unto you, ye shall not have gone over the cities of Yasharal till the Son of Man be come. Mm -hmm. The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his master. Yeah. It is enough. It is what? Enough. <laughs> it is what now? Enough. It's a what? Enough. What that mean? It's a what again? Enough. That the what now? Disciple. Do what, son? That he be as his ruler. I told him I set him up. They were talking about him. You know what he just told him? Get like me. That's good, brother. Amen. Get like me. Amen.